Hello, Mauga Zata. Can you see us? Okay. Yes, I hope Good afternoon. Nice to see you. This side, the, the, the Qualification Commission today. Piotr um, Kaminski, uh, I'm the chairman of the foundation, and I will chair today. Uh, commission, and together with us, we have uh, Marzena Bielecka, who is the capital market specialist and uh, venture capi capital specialist also, and uh, Maya Matejkowska, who is a lawyer and notary. Uh, Małgorzata, the floor is yours. Four minutes for your self-presentation and uh, afterwards the que uh, questions and answers. Good afternoon. Let me share my screen. Um... Mm -hmm. uh, just a second. Uh, I hope you can see what I'm presenting. Um, yes, we see. Okay, so good afternoon. And before I begin my presentation, I would like to sincerely thank you for the opportunity of taking part in this interview, which is already a really valuable experience for me. And also thank you for making time to meet with me here today. During my presentation, I would like to introduce myself, explain why I would be a suitable candidate for the Queen Hedwig Scholarship and what impact my experiences in the Silicon Valley would have on me, my community and my future career. My name is Małgorzata Haschler. I'm 16 years old and currently I'm a third year high school student at Adam Mickiewicz High School number no. 3 in Wrocław uh, with extended program in biology, chemistry and mathematics. My primary interest is chemistry, which I have been passionate about since primary school and other sciences as well. What I would consider my biggest achievement so far was obtaining the low rates title of the National Chemistry Olympiad this year. Last year, I also got into the finals of that same contest. Uh, last year, so during my second year of high school, I was also a finalist of the National Biology Olympiad. And I also took place and took high, high places in um, different um, national chemistry contests, such as Antoni Sfinarski National Chemistry Contest and uh, the one organized by the Silesian University of Technology. Preparing for these various Olympiads and contests um, required me to take part in extracurricular activities, such as, for example, lectures or laboratory lessons at uh, universities in Wrocław, but also as a scholar of National Children's Fund, also known as Fungus Dolni, I had the opportunity to take part in internships and research workshops at different research and academic institutions, such as the Institute of Physical Chemistry of the Polish Academy of Sciences, where I had the opportunity to join the group called uh, Chemistry in Confined Spaces. And also I was uh, happy to spend some time uh, in the laboratory of bioorganic and medicinal chemistry at the Department of Chemistry of Warsaw University. Getting such experiences was really valuable for me, taking into account that currently I'm planning with two of my classmates to conduct a research project for USIS, so European Union Contest for Young Scientists, about photochemistry and more specifically photoswitchable dyes with potential applications in technology and medicine. And I believe that going to Silicon Valley as a scholarship recipient will allow me to improve my interpersonal skills, such as networking, communication skills or teamwork skills, and also help me confront my expectations regarding working in an international research team in a renowned world-class laboratory uh, with reality. When it comes to my hobbies, I really enjoy learning languages. I speak Polish, English and German fluently, but I also used to learn other languages such as Cambodia, so Khmer. Um, I also currently self-teach myself how to play the viola, and I'm also uh, a big uh, enjoyer of classical singing. I'm uh, a choir singer at my school, school's choir, and also uh, I'm a volunteer at my local opera in Wrocław. When it comes to my social activity, I used to be a tutor. I used to volunteer as a tutor. I taught mostly German, but I also helped my fellow classmates with current schoolwork and other subjects as well. As a volunteer in the opera house in Wrocław, I'm able to dive deeper into the world of classical music and how such a big cultural institution functions. Uh, and also as a choir singer, not only do I have the opportunity to uh, sing and perform at charity concerts or um, at school uh, assemblies, but also in other events such as uh, Independence Day concerts at the National Forum of Music, a photo from which you can see now on the slide. When it comes to my plans for the future, I would like to obtain certificates in English and German, maybe also learn a new language since I find that really valuable in a scientist's job, not only to read and publish scientific papers, but also to communicate with other teammates efficiently, especially in an international uh, community. And also, um, 
and also even understand the etymology of these terms better. I find that really interesting and important as well. And uh, I would also love to nurture my interests, not just the scientific ones. And so when it comes to my career plans, I would like to become a researcher and academic teacher and hopefully make, uh, make a difference, make a good impact on science and technology. And since I'm, really, uh, since I'm interested mostly in uh, health-related fields, I would like to uh, make human lives uh, better and healthier. I hope that the experiences and skills I gained so far would make me stand out from uh, the other candidates for the prestigious Queen Hedwig Scholarship and uh, would also have a valuable impact on the scholarship program and the people I would meet during the journey to the United States. And since I have never been to the US before, I believe that uh, the journey would not only shape me as a future researcher, but also as a person since um, I would know, I would get to know the country in a way unachievable just by uh, reading books or watching movies uh, recorded there. And also as a curious and open-minded person, I'm sure I wouldn't bring from the Silicon Valley just uh, meaningful long-term friendships with like-minded peers, but also inspirations and new interesting research projects. And who knows, maybe the journey would inspire me to conduct research on something that would have a good impact on the future. When I graduate from high school, I'm also planning to become a tutor at the Polish Children's Fund, where I would share my experiences from the scholarship. And since I'm a member of such a community of young, curious people interested about getting to know the world in its every dimension, not just at the National Children's Fund, but also uh, since, even though it's uh, one of the missions of the organization, but also, for example, at my school, I'm sure sharing my experiences wouldn't only benefit them, but also could benefit the Queen Hedwig Scholarship Program. Thank you so much for your time and attention, and now I'm open to all the questions you might have. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah, so we don't hear you. You are muted. Mm -hmm. what, is, what, is your, what is your favorite opera? And uh, who is your favorite uh, uh, singer, opera singer? singer. Yes. Uh, so I would say that my favorite opera is um, Bizet's Carmen. Uh, maybe it's the most popular opera in the world, but I really like mm -hmm. uh, the themes uh, that are included there. And when it comes to my favorite opera singers, I really enjoy listening to uh, the recordings uh, we have from uh, Eva Podlesz's career, who was uh, a famous Polish contralto, probably one of the best um, of her time. Thank you, Marzana. My favorite opera is Cavalleria, Cavalleria Rusticana. Uh, <laughs> different, di different period. But uh, the question is, if you could, um, if you could choose um, a person to meet in Silicon Valley during the scholarship, what would be, uh, uh, who would be that one? So uh, I believe that I would love to meet uh, the person who I wrote my essay about. So uh, Professor Jennifer Doudna, who was the inventor uh, of the CRISPR uh, gene editing method because I really value her career not just as a scientist, as a brilliant scientist and Nobel Prize winner, but also as someone who cares about bioethics and other aspects of the scientific career. Thank you. That was a very clear answer. Maya? Thank you. And uh, what's your biggest dream? My biggest dream? I think uh, my biggest dream would be to build a successful career as a scientist. Uh, maybe also get to know Mm, all the inspiring people uh, currently I'm just seeing uh, in the news or uh, just as a student. And um, also, I would say that maybe making such difference in the world uh, by my discoveries, uh, by my potential discoveries as a scientist. And yes, maybe making a difference, uh, maybe making the world a bit better since uh, there are many problems in this world, such as, for example, mm, imbalance, for example, and Imbalances such as, for example, children from uh, poorer countries uh, aren't, even though they're gifted, as much as uh, children from other countries, they can't really get proper education they deserve. And I would like to make a difference in that, field as well, in that field as well. Thank you. Thank you. May I have your feedback? Um, 
I see they are very active and uh, passionate uh, uh, person. Congratulations, perfect English. And uh, your presentation uh, was well structured and very uh, clarity for me uh, in message. Thank you for that. And otherwise, I keep finger across for you uh, in this scholarship. Marjana? I share uh, the view of uh, Maya with regard to the presentation, which was very well structured and clear. And uh, yeah, and uh, from your presentation, it was clear that you know what you are talking about. And uh, I must say that I'm very impressed with your achievements and passion. And I wish you good luck to uh, to fulfill your dreams and uh, really do what you believe can uh, make a change. So good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mogozota, for a great presentation, for the great passion. Also, I see that you have um, you have the, the, the potential in a, a lot of fields. You have a potential to be the, the, the new Maria Kiris Kodowska. You have a potential to be in, in new Eva Polish. Uh, I, I I hope that you will have the great potential to be with us in Silicon Valley and I keep my fingers for you. And uh, remember that there is the third part of, of the competition, the public voting. It is also important uh, part to encourage your, your society to vote uh, uh, to vote for you. You have the great possibility. Let's do it the best uh, to increase your, your, your chance to, to, to go with us to Silicon Valley. Thank you, Mogojata. It was a great pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye-bye.